Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. I saw a sign in the sky. I'm ready. Maui, Nita. Hi there, Amber. This role that you play as Naru is so important. I love to see a, a female protagonist who's a warrior and intuitive and all of that. And I wonder um, if there's a parallel in, in Comanche mythology or any other First Nations mythology that you might know in which she is a character. Uh, I believe, I don't know that Naru specifically is anybody in Comanche history, uh, but I know that there is a female warrior society. So as far as like when, you know, war parties would happen, I know that there was a, there was a Comanche warrior society made of women who would also go on, you know, who would go out with the men and fight and stuff like that. And that's why, you know, Naru is, I think focused in in hunting specifically and I think also that's what makes the movie a little bit different is that it's not about like oh the society says you can't it's to her specifically people telling her like I know you and I don't think this is for you and she kind of has that feeling that maybe it is or that there, there's something more. That's interesting because um, the young men her age, the hunters, mm -hmm. they treat her poorly. And I think, number one, they're frightened that she's hunting and breaking the rules. And number two, I think they're threatened by her autonomy. Hmm. I mean, hmm. would you agree with that? I love that. I love this is exactly what I am excited about for this movie is I think that there has been a really incredible job that's been done by Dan and everybody to um have a movie like Predator, which is really exciting, but then also have these like kind of bigger and more these like deeper concepts inside of it. So I love these conversations. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. I, I, I think the film is really special and I hope there's more of them. So, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll speak another time too, but <laughs> how did you get um, a handle on her? Was it when you originally read the script or on set or how? The character as a whole, I think, kind of was just something that was very apparent and in the way that the story was structured and in the way that she was written. And also, I think, was just something that, like, kind of lived with me. I think something that happens is, like, you just immediately, when somebody is, like, a fully embodied person, they just exist, you know, on, on the page or in the world. And, um, that was definitely how I felt about her was that there was never a moment when I felt like I didn't know who she was or what she wanted or what she was doing. And it was kind of like, just, you know, put on, you just kind of like put on the skin and go. There's something out there. I'm coming with you. You can't. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? Now tell me a little bit about your uh, fitness and fighting preparations wow is all i can say <laughs> yeah it was a lot it was a big movie as much as i read the script and all the action and looked at the schedule still did not comprehend how much action would actually be for the day-to-day -day life uh yeah we had a four-week training camp um that we did a month before shooting so that was all of us as me those dakota beavers and all the other boys and all the other hunters um and we did, you know, weapons training, specifically, you know, Comanche style, like archery and, and spears and knives and stuff like that, the tomahawk, obviously. Um, and then there was also like personal training happening at the same time. And the stunt team was there. We were in this kind of like big warehouse 
situation and um so there was like an area where it was like oh the weapons training is over here and then the stunts training is over here and personal training was at a different building and stuff like that so it was really just like a month of just everybody just showing up every day and and you know trying to get ready that's fantastic what a, an impressive film thank you so much amber thank you it's time how to hunt. I know how to survive. 